And our next topic was inspired by an email that we got from Jessica in Austin, Texas. And she writes, Dear Docs, I often take over-the-counter pain medication for my terrible headaches. And I was wondering, how long does it usually take for pain medicine to kick in? And how soon can I take a second dose? Glad you asked this question because a lot of us take over-the-counter pain medication. We often wonder which one is best. Well, how long it takes for medicine to kick in? It depends on you. It depends on your metabolism. It depends on what you're taking. Different over-the-counter medications work in different ways on the body. And I'm going to give everyone a brief look inside the body in terms of how these medicines work. So let's say you sprain your ankle. What happens if you decide to take a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug? Well, ibuprofen and aspirin are very similar. They're both these so-called insets. When you take that medicine, first thing, it is broken down in your stomach, and subsequently, those substances get absorbed in your small intestine. Now, when you sprain your ankle, prostaglandins are released. These medicines help inhibit prostaglandins, decrease swelling, decrease pain. It's then metabolized by your liver and excreted through your kidneys. That process of getting towards your ankle takes about maybe an hour for those medicines. Let's say, alternatively, you're going to take acetaminophen. Acetaminophen broken down much the same way in the stomach and then absorbed in the small intestine. But here's where things are different with acetaminophen. Its area of action is actually on the brain. It depresses those pain signals and then it's metabolized by the liver. So acetaminophen may work within 10 minutes or so. Either way, you're going to have a decreased sensation of pain at the ankle. The biggest issue with over-the-counter medicines, and I can't emphasize this enough, is number one, how do they work for you as an individual, but side effect profiles. So acetaminophen, if taken in an overdose, or if you have liver problems, it can cause problems with your liver, if you're susceptible to that. Whereas NSAIDs, aspirin and ibuprofen, they can exacerbate ulcers. They can, in some people, exacerbate kidney problems. So, Aspirin also, I should remark, you take a baby aspirin every day, it makes your platelets less sticky, so if you're prone to bleeding, aspirin can exacerbate that issue. So you need to figure out what works for you. In general, though, these should work within about an hour. Their lasting effects can be from anywhere five, six, eight hours. And as far as dosing, Dr. Shiz, you have some great advice for kids that adults can use as well. Exactly. You know, uh, most of the time with kids, if it's a fever or teething, one or the other, uh, either ibuprofen or acetaminophen, usually does the trick. But if it's a nasty fever or some pretty severe pain, you might want to alternate back and forth. And an easy way to remember this is I like to do it uh, about every three hours. Start with one, and then three hours later, go to the other one. Three hours later, go to the first one. And so basically, each medication is being given every six hours, and you're swap just going back and forth every three. So if that's too hard to remember, then I usually start with ibuprofen, because it, I think in kids it starts working a little faster, and do ibuprofen dose every six hours. And if it's wearing off too quickly, throw in a dose of acetaminophen between each of those doses. And so never kind of give a, aspirin to Right, kids. never give so aspirin to a child equation. unless pre prescribed by your doctor. And just because they're over the counter, this will be my last comment, doesn't mean that they're safe for everyone. So discuss with your doctor which of these may be best for you given your scenario.